Hi everyone, this is Chris Hoffman and if you like the fields that you just heard, let me break them down for you. The fills that you heard, they have a straight 16th note subdivision and consist of groupings of 3s and 2s. The exact grouping order is 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3. And that makes 16. So we are playing 16 notes in a bar of 4-4. Four, four. Whenever we are playing the group of 3, we are playing right hand followed by two ghost notes with the left hand. And whenever we are playing the group of two, we are playing right, left. So now let's practice the order of grouping 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3 at 70 BPM on the pad to get used to the rhythmic structure. So after we've practiced that for a while, let's orchestrate our right hand of the three note grouping around the kit. If we feel comfortable doing that, then we can also orchestrate the left hand. So the idea is to eventually not think about the groupings anymore, but to come up with your own orchestration of that fill. A useful limitation to get creative is to play the two ghost notes of the three note grouping always on the snare drum. So let's practice that along to some music. I want to show you one more musical application because what I really like doing with these groupings is to prepare ensemble hits within the music. So when we play to the loop one more time, then we hear a hit on the end of beat three. So one, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. So we play groove, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, hit. One, two, three, four. So now let's try this one more time with the play along. So I just think that's a very musical approach of using groupings to prepare big ensemble hits in the music. And remember, use the groupings to come up with your own orchestration ways. And I'll see you next time.